I, I hate that we have to talk about this, but we have to talk about it. Uh, we mentioned it a little bit briefly earlier, but Steve Cohen involved in this crazy stock market thing this week. I don't even have the time to explain all the intricacies of it, but essentially thousands of Reddit users and the, you could call them the little guys, you know, the, the, under, the, the, the lower class have banded together to jack up stock prices of GameStop and other declining retailers for a potentially massive payday at the expense of these hedge funds that have been betting against companies and shorting and one of those people involved is Stephen Cohen and he has that estimated worth of 14 billion dollars so I think some of the money that he's lost in this uh it yes he has lost money in that and say what you want about that but you have to also think that, that you gotta figure the pocket that he's keeping his money for trading and insider trading is different than the money he's spending on the Mets organization and I don't think the two are hand in hand I, I think he's right in saying that it's not going to affect uh, his ability to finance this Mets team. It is interesting that he deleted his Twitter account that happening late last night. I don't know if you want to give your comments on what your thoughts are in regard to that. This is somebody who's been pretty active with fans uh, on Twitter and which has kind of made him liked by Mets fans. So deleting his Twitter might throw an interesting wrench into that dynamic. Yeah. Well, you, a real reversal of fortune in terms of the the PR that the Mets had. They go get him. The, obviously, the entire New York media is ecstatic about it. The Wilpons are out of town. They stink. Nobody liked them. They ran a terrible franchise, and they were just not enjoyable to engage with. Nobody, nobody wanted them here. Not a soul. So everybody was eager at a new owner. Nobody could have gotten better PR than Steve Cohen, who – brought a great energy, promised to spend a lot of money, primed New York to have an outstanding baseball rivalry in the short term and hopefully in the long term because he'll be here for a long time. Um, they go out and get Francisco Lindor, which was the big uh, strike. So the, the media couldn't have been better. He's communicating with the fans on Twitter. Um, he's got some wit to him. I mean, it was hilarious. He built up this persona sort of, this Uncle Steve persona. And then just things kind of collapsed in the last week or so. And reality sort of uh, hit the the Steve Cohen that w was uh, having a good time. It seemed like on Twitter, the, the Porter news breaks. Jared Porter, the general manager um, who sent lewd photographs, uh, harassed a female reporter um, during his time in Chicago. That came out. Terrible scandal. Really bad look for the Mets um, and for Steve Cohen. And then this has happened and he's found himself on the other side. I think people who overlook the fact that he doesn't have the best record. Remember he was fined by the sec for $2 billion years ago um, and, and sort of would fit the persona of an enemy that a lot of people um, would paint out of people of his wealth and, and, and his status. Um, but of course that there was an exception because he was going to use his wealth for the betterment of the New York Mets. So we all look the other way. Um, and, and now I think there's been a reminder that he is still, that he is kind of that guy um, as he's sort of on the other side of what's happened here. Uh, so reversal of fortune there. He also had a poor choice of words. And, and I, I always kind of had this thought, he was certainly managing his own Twitter and putting out his own tweets, which is never the best policy. If you're somebody who has, you know, a serious communications portfolio, you run a, a big organization, like let's say the New York Mets, or maybe the United States of America, maybe you shouldn't be running your own Twitter account. Um, and so, but he was, and it, it gave him the, the, he was genuine and it was appreciated, but there was a mistake that a communications expert wouldn't have let him make, which he wrote in his tweet. I'm just a guy trying to make a living regarding what he was doing with the GameStop. And <laughs> It, this was not the best choice of words. I'm just a guy trying to make a living. Um, somebody who has the the funding to for a living for, let's say, 100 lifetimes. Like, there, there's no trying to make a living involved here anymore. You've made your living. Uh, so that was a poor choice of words. Backfired on him. He's deleted his Twitter. And, and that's sort of the story there. <laughs> I, I think that sums it up. Just a guy trying to make a living like us all. And